today I'm going to be making something very Russian. It's Russian blinchiki with meat. Uh, it's stuffed uh, pancakes with meat filling with beef. Again, you can use pork or beef or combine two of them. I'm going to be using just beef. Um, and I hope you really enjoy this recipe. It's very delicious. You can have this for dinner. You can have it for breakfast because in Latvia we have it for breakfast. I know weird people. And um, yeah, you can have it for lunch as well. Enjoy. This recipe serves about four people. I'm going to make about 10 to 12 blinchiki. And again, you can have either two or three, depending how much you like to eat. But they're so delicious, you actually can have a lot of them. Um, so for the filling of the meat, we're going to use 400 grams of beef mince, one onion, four cloves of garlic. And then for the pancake mixture, we're going to use 500 grams, 500 millimeters of milk, 300 grams of flour, two eggs, salt and pepper. I'm going to make the bean chicken now. Uh, if you have a blender, then use that. Just put all the ingredients together and blend. I'm going to use a whisk. So first of all, we add our flour. Then we put our eggs in. And then we slowly start adding milk and whisking it all together. don't want any lumps in there. Okay, all done. It should be this kind of consistency. You can add more milk uh, or more flour depending, you know, how much how much you want to really make. Now I'm going to fry them a medium heat on both sides, lightly, and then we're going to start doing our filling. Okay, I've just melted some butter in our frying pan. This is going to give us a really golden color for blinchiki. So we take one scoop and just place it in the middle and then lightly tip it on all sides. Just like this, so it's all even. I know you can't see it there. One second. <laughs> so just so it all becomes even on all sides. Just like that. And then we leave it fry for about two minutes. Fry, flip it over, fry again, and then just store them on a plate. Okay, my last pancake. Um, now I'm gonna try and flip it like they do in movies. Woo! <laughs> Ready. Okay, so this is ready. So I made 10 blinchiki. We slice the beef, uh, onion and garlic, mix that all together with salt and pepper and fry that in the frying pan. Our filling is done. As you can see, it's all nice and brown. And um, so what I'm going to do next, take each blinchiki, blinchi, <laughs> and fill it in with our meat filling. Obviously, because they're homemade, you can put as much meat as you want. <laughs> and we fold it from the top. Now squeeze it a little bit. Then hold from one side. And the other side. And then do it like that. Okay? So they should look like this, from one side and the other side. And before we serve them, we're going to fry them again. Very hard with butter for one side to make them really, really crispy. I think it'll be so good. <laughs> Yeah, I put some butter in my frying pan. I'm going to fry each blinch in, um, in the pan. So this is going to make them very, very crispy and nice. Again, you can freeze those actually if you want to have it for later, um, for dinner or any other time. Okay, look at these, all done, nice and crispy outside and yummy meat stuffing inside. I'm just going to add a bit of sour cream. Mmm, can't wait to dig in. Okay, I use a lot of sour cream, so I have to use that much. Now, this is finished. Uh, Russian style blinchiki with meat. Um, you can have them anytime. Um, yeah, you see the meaty stuffing is just in there. Mm. Sour cream. Mmm. So delicious. Yum. Okay. Guys, subscribe to my channel and like my page on Facebook and I'll bring more yummy Russian slash Latvian recipes. Bye!